my ideal show would be with Chris Hedges, David K. Johnston, Michael Hudson, and Eve Smith. That would be my ideal Transcendian Nintendo radio show. It would be just fantastic if I could get those people together. I wrote a tweet today saying that uh, President Barack Obama could redeem his legacy were he to by executive order or in any way possible have his administration leave with the institution of US Postal Service service banking for all Americans. I believe that Michael Hudson has pegged it in his writing. He gave me the phrase industrial banking in its history. Its history was lost. The Great War was the beginning of the hundred years oil war. Now that gift of currency from Kissinger and Nixon, the petrodollar, is collapsing. As well, the rapacious financial banking industry has lost all connection to sensibility and is so greedy that they deserve to be just destroyed. Their charters pulled, the corporations not uh, allowed to continue. This is what we should mean and understand is the meaning of breaking up the big banks. These people have no heart whatsoever. I wrote for advertising for a while. I tried anyway. I got a job with Infantina Korea and it was based on work that I'd written as a poet a uh, dream I'd written up and the owner of the company hired me. Uh, uh, the creative director one time while the owner was gone said that uh, he was the creative director and I wasn't and fired me. <laughs> but I got the feeling out of that that the skills of a poet were the same as the skills of the copywriters and the advertisers. I was blown away that marketing was such a simple just go buy space at eye level and how no original thought was to be allowed because people just reacted well to what they were familiar with. And it was also, this idea I got from it was that the poet had compassion and the copywriter with the same skills did not. But the, uh, you know, it's not as if all these people are evil at their core. It's what it is, is the system. This is what they talk about and mean by, well, we're social animals and we, re re we react to peer pressure and who's the biggest dog and all that. Anarchy's great, you know, fantastic. Leads to isolation and despair and suicide. At least for my generation, sure did seem to do that. And, uh... You know, founding a, founding a nation, by the time I'd gotten to the point where I was willing or able to issue the passports of Transcendia and invent, well, I invented the currency in 2003, but I applied it to the passport. So then I had to really study economics. So this is where I'm at. 
I'll tell you, I'm sick to death of my ignorance. I really hate the ignorance that I grew up with, and sometimes I hate the people that gave me ambition. I had those scholarships, you know, in Chicago, and went out to school in Cranbrook, you know, adventure and creativity. I was with all these rich kids, but where is somebody like Chris Hedges seems to have capitalized on that and made a career that way with a rich friend somehow. I don't know. I was sent back to North Carolina, which is what I'm calling now not conscious. Of course, it's great real estate. The people, my friends that I worked with for the years after I would gotten a union card, uh, uh, you know, they're the ones that have been damaged, labor, the only union labor in the state, really, besides some, uh, I, I saw some about the International Alliance of Electrical Workers, but, you know, they, it's a, such a vehemently, and, you know, when I was growing up, we were taught, you know, why should I pay for a job and all this and keep your pay stub, uh, pay, pay rate secret from others because you might get more, you know, all that shit. By the time I'm done, you know, you know you're working class and you got to pull together. But it's like, since 2008, it's really gotten bad, yeah. And I don't know, maybe uh, the president, if I was speaking to him, uh, maybe he was locked into the system as much as anybody else. You know, same as I, he may have regrets for some ignorance that he's carried on with in his life. We don't all, you know, get the same opportunities and the experiences that I've had mean a lot to me. I wouldn't trade them. I've read some. I have enjoyed so much the life of the mind, but I know the next 20 years I might not see. I'm lucky to be alive the days I am. Getting a dentist to fix my mouth is my mouth, the dentistry I need threatens my whole life and it's left out everything. I need six thousand dollars worth of dental work I can't get it oh I don't know is it my fault not doing go fund to me apparently that's what works better than trying to sell my books which are worth something especially the passport since we're all spies in our lives now so anyway, if Eve and Michael Hudson and uh, Chris Hedges and David K. Johnston want to give me a break, they'd come see me in my studio and be in my, my TV world. You know, that would be great. My wife might put me together to go travel if I was given the means. Or everybody agreed to do it with me. Otherwise, I just got to keep reading. But I tell you, this idea of the Industrial Service Bank uh, over the finance, which I call Meyer Lansky Financial Engineering, is a superior concept. Really. Now we dance. <laughs>